Hi right, everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Dennis. Today I'm going to do a quick review, just a quick look at the uh, X370 MSI Gaming Pro Carbon motherboard. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to build a Ryzen computer. I want to have a good motherboard that's going to be able to support everything I want to do, whether it be an AMD graphics card or an NVIDIA graphics card, because down the road I might change my mind depending on who has the better product. So this is the MSI Motherboard X370 Gaming Pro Carbon. And it has the Mystic Light RGB. And of course it says it's VR ready. So let's have a look and see what's inside the box. Okay, so in here we've got our drivers and utilities disc. Okay, a bunch of stickers for whatever you want to use them for, for cables, whatever it happens to be. And of course there's a thank you for choosing an M MSI product. You have your quick installation guide. And of course, how to install your memory. Whether you want to use one, two, or four, or three, or whatever you want to use. Whatever you want to use. And most important, how to put on your Wraith cooler that comes with the Ryzen 5 1600 processor, which is what's going to go into this bad boy. And of course, all important, especially in a new build like this. You have your manual, which I will definitely be checking out. And you have your crossfire. Oh, no, sorry, that's for SLI. This comes with a very nice I.O. shield. Very nice soft on the back, so you're not going to cut your fingers. We'll have a look at that. You can see it's got your... Pretty good, actually. It's got your logo for MSI with the dragon gaming series. It's a nice black with a couple uh, slots indicating for your Type-C connector for your USB and your normal USB here. And you got lots of room as you'll see when I go to the motherboard. So, not bad. So what else is there? You've got your cables. Typical SATA cables. Nothing fancy. Alright, you can see. I, I'm not going to take those out. There's no point. And a couple more cables. Oh, well, no. Sorry. This. I will take this out just to show you what it is. Okay, so in here, you've got your connector, which will go on your motherboard. And then you've got your RGB uh, connectors for if you want to hook up RGB lighting to your system. And, of course, we'll have a look on this case. I'm pretty sure there's probably an RGB header on it somewhere. And you plug it into the motherboard, and then you're good to go. Okay, so we finally got a look at the motherboard here. You've got a nice uh, heatsink here. And another one here. Of course, you've got your DIMM slots. This is where your processor is going to go. Of course, you have your 24-pin power supply. Okay, so locating the uh, RGB connectors, it's, it's called a JLED1. So basically, it's your jumper for LED, and there's only one of them on this board that I've been able to find. If there's another one, well... Please point it out to the, me in the comments so that other people can see it. So I'll just give you a look at that again. It's right, right there. JLED 1. Now, the other thing I want to mention is I didn't know if I needed to remove these if I was going to install the uh, Wraith cooler that came with the uh, RF5 1600. And, of course, you have your four DIMM slot, DIM slots. I can't talk today. Your M.2 uh, is going to go underneath here. They built this on to give it a little bit of uh, a little bit more cooling. All right, and just have another look at the side of the board here. Okay, so you can see all your connectors. So you've got lots of USB 3.0. It might be 3.1. Obviously, you've got your USB 2.0 here. And, of course, you've got your, like, your spipped, as I like to call it. And you've got your mic and your headphones and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, your graphics port connector for your graphics card. 
And if you have the old fashioned mouse and keyboard, you can still use this. Okay, your USB type C just and we'll give you another look here. So, and of course you've got your normal jumpers here for your USB, your 3.0 right here. And your system fans you have. And if I look at the other side, just passing this around. Okay, you can see your SATA connectors are right here. I'm trying to get that in there as clear as I can. All right, so you've got four there, and you've also got two more right here. So you've got six SATA connectors in total. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you've got your, your um, let's just turn this so you can see it better. You've got your audio boost, all segregated. You can see the line coming down here to keep, so you'll have better sound. See, you've got your separation here. It'll give you better sound coming from your board and it's got steel reinforced for your graphics cards because we know that the new graphics cards are pretty sturdy and heavy nowadays and moving to the side here again you've got uh, your PCI, PCIe 1 slots okay so this is times 16 and of course as you break it down it'll be times 8 times 8 and you've got room for a third graphics card on the side here and it is an ATX motherboard so when this is all lit up, it's going to look pretty amazing, I do believe. And I'll show you that, because this is going to be not just a motherboard review, but I'm going to show you what it looks like in the case. I'm going to give you a quick look at the back of this. So one of the other features we want to look at on this board is your Gaming Pro. So basically right here, what that is, it's your Mystic Light RGB I.O. cover and heatsink. Which will allow you to change the colors up to 16.8 million colors with 17 different LED effects. Okay, moving on to the other side, which is right here. Okay, that is your gaming heatsink with carbon. Uh, it's the, a leading heatsink design for maximum cooling. And of course, moving on to your DDR4 um, boost with, with the steel armor. So it optimizes the traces and isolates the memory uh, circuitry of your board. And of course, if you look at um, where your graphics card will go in, okay, so right here is your times 16. Uh, if you use two graphics cards, it's going to be times 8, times 8. And if you use three, it's times 8, times 8, and times 4. And of course, you'll notice that on the board as well, you have steel reinforced, okay, and um, Helps to protect your graphics cards against bending and electromagnetic interference. You have two M.2 NVMe supports, which will give you up to 32 gigabyte per second uh, using the PCI Express Gen 3 and 4. So those are here, which you, you have a heat shield over top. That'll come off. Your, it'll go underneath of that. And of course, your second one is right here, all right, which is just kind of left on its own to allow the natural cooling of your case to uh, take care of it. Okay, so one thing I've also wanted to include in this is you have your DDR4 boost, which is 1.6 times. You have your gaming LAN. Can't talk today again. Has a VR boost, has two times faster lightning USB. All right, let me just let you look at all this anyway. But it has your steel armor, like I mentioned. It has your M.2 shield. For a better thermal solution okay so in order to get to the uh, lightning effects for your motherboard uh, one of the things you have to do is install the software that came with your computer and then go to your MSI gaming app once you get to it you'll see this menu so you've got your motherboard logo your IO cover your motherboard right track everywhere that can be lit up you can individually select it so if you want, uh, you can go up to LED effects on, or you can turn them all off if you want to up here. Okay, I chose breathing. Uh, you can have it play to music, and you can choose the type of music you want to have. And of course, you can change your color palette to whatever you want. I left it at red because that's what I like, and uh, it fits with the uh, the Corsair 230T case because they've got the LED lights in the front, and. Uh, I'll put it on breathing. I just kind of like the way it looks. It's just my preference. 
And you got your motherboard uh, LED extended. So you can go on here. You can put that to breathing as well. Or, or any of the different choices. choices. So you got breathing, flashing, double flashing. You got a marquee, meteorite, stack, rainbow, lighting, and random. So you got lots of choices. I like the fact that the uh, MSI gives you all the individual choices for your motherboard to light up whatever you want individually you can have a whole scheme of different colors going on so I think that's great and of course one of the other things I'm going to point out so I'm just going to get out of here is you've got your LED you've got your like all your different um, DRAM and CPU fan all that kind of stuff that you can play around with and uh, I'll see I'll go back to that if you have any questions what they are, you can click on the um, little icon here. It'll come up and kind of basically explain. Like uh, you can Uni Uni Engine Valley is a new benchmarking tool, so you can go ahead and, and use that. All right, so you can choose whatever one you want. And go ahead and play around with it. Uh, and because it's new and it's a Ryzen, there's so much more to explore. It's kind of like learning all over again, which for me I, is, is amazing. Uh, unfortunately, I'm building this for somebody else, so I don't get to play with it a whole lot, but I get to play with it until they get it. And here you've got iRust. So what this does is you can change it to gaming for a movie. Uh, iRust is basically the blue light, so it'll change the screen so it's easier on your eyes for long term. And of course you can do your own customization. You can go, you can overclock it. Now any of these that you click, if you go click on overclock, Okay, now this one says it doesn't support this function. Now that's probably because I got the um, Ryzen 5 1600. But I mean, if you know how, you can tweak it and probably do that. Or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I don't know. Like I say, it's a new processor for me, and it's a lot to a lot to learn. You can go into gaming mode, and of course, then you got to restart your system to make it effect, which of course would be a good idea to do. And, of course, if you want to put it in silent mode so you don't hear your fans or whatever, you can go with that. And you get your different settings for your mouse and uh, you get your gaming hotkeys. So you can click on that and you can set everything up up in here. Okay, Windows keys, login keys, all that good stuff. So if you're looking for a motherboard that gives you lots of options, lots of play, and you want a, basically a desktop system that gives you all those same options, well, for me, Ryzen is certainly a win. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, actually. And I hope that you will be if you, uh, you decide to do the same. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it. I'll do ya. I'll do ya. I'll do ya. <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. If you like the videos, you want to see more, please subscribe. I have a few lately. I'm, I'm moving on, moving up there a little bit. Hopefully it keeps on going. It's going to take a while, but that's all right. Um, so if you got any comments or you want to give me any information or you want to ask any questions about anything I didn't tell you, let me know. And thanks for watching.